hello friends welcome to a new video on my channel in this video I will explain the complete flow of a selenium test I'm making it as two parts this is the first part where we can learn how to install all the softwares which are needed for selenium Java and in the next part I can explain how to write a sample selenium script and how we can store that into a centralized repository let's say github by creating a github account and a repository in the github okay so in this video we are going to learn how to install java which is uh, gdk 15 version and an ide which is eclipse and maven which is used to create the selenium project and a git version control so let's go to the video first we can start with installing java gdk 15 just like installing any other software we can just download the gdk file and we can install it just search for gdk download and uh, you can install the latest version of gdk so here you can see um, the previous versions of gdk you can select any of this i'm installing the latest version 15 and you can select windows x64 installer exe file and once you click on that link it will uh, ask you to accept the conditions and you can download the file now by clicking the download button and it will start downloading and once it is downloaded you can open the file and you can install it by clicking the next button And once installation is done, you can open your uh, command prompt to check to confirm the Java is installed successfully in your machine. So I'm opening command prompt and just type Java minus version and click on enter and you can see the version of Java that we have installed. You can also enter Java C, so you will be able to see the Java commands. So that means uh, Java successfully installed in your machine. If you have ever installed uh, previous versions of JDK, that is uh, JDK 14, 13, or any other previous version, we used to uh, install. I mean, we used to set a property that was environment variable in the system properties, right? Uh, the JDK path. But for uh, JDK 15 version, you don't have to set the path manually we will be able to see a path automatically set in the system property so if you go to the variable section and if you go to environment variables click path and click edit here you will be able to see once you have installed java you will be able to see program files, program files, common files, oracle, java, java path since so, so if this is already present then we don't have to uh, again add the GDK path in this environment variable, we will be able to run our Java program successfully. Okay, so let's go to this file location, folder location. You will see what other things are uh, present in that folder. So let's go to C and program files, common files, then Oracle, Java, and then Java path. So we'll be able to see all this uh, Java application. So Java C, which is type right, Java command to compile the Java. This Java C is a command to compile your Java program. So unlike other versions of Java, you don't have to manually set your environment variable. Uh, you just have to install it. That's it. Okay. And uh, if you are setting uh, the previous versions of GDK, you have to add your uh, GDK bin folder path to this uh, environment variable location. For that, you can refer my video in the Java series. I can give that uh, video link in the description. Now we can install Eclipse IDE. So um, we can download the file. 
you will just enter eclipse download and you can see the file from the site eclipse.org you can click the download button and it will start downloading and once it is downloaded you can open the file and it will open up this window eclipse installer here you can select the first option eclipse id for java developers and you can click the install button and also you can accept the user agreements so here you can see two options that is um, java two fields java um, jdk location and the installation folder that is the location where the eclipse is going to get installed okay if you want you can change this uh, path locations uh, i'm keeping the same the installation takes some time Now we can click this uh, launch button so Eclipse ID will be opened. Here um, we can select uh, a workspace as well. Workspace in the sense uh, this is a folder location where uh, your code will get saved. Okay, Whatever you write in the Eclipse ID that will be the location uh, your code will be getting saved. So once you uh, open the Eclipse ID uh, you can save this window. You can either click hide or you can click any of this option from this window your eclipse id is ready now you can create a new java project and you can start writing a java program Next, we can install uh, Maven. So, if you're working with Maven projects and Selenium, you need to install Maven as well in your system. So, what you can do, you can search for Maven download and you will be redirected to the site, Maven official website, and you can download the binary zip hard drive file. Okay. Now, once it is done, you can open this downloads folder and you can extract the file. Now you can keep this uh, file in some folder location in your system. Uh, I'm keeping it in uh, program files. If you want to keep it in the downloads folder, you can do that as well. No issues. So now I have copied this uh, Apache Maven folder to the program files folder in my system. Now to check or to confirm Maven, MBN, uh, Maven is not already installed in your system what you can do you can open your command prompt and just type MVN hyphen version so to show MVN is not recognized an internal or external command that means MVN is not already present in your system now what we have to do we have to add our uh, apache maven part to a system environment variables for that you can copy the folder path where your bin folder is located apache maven bin folder is located and you can open your edit system environment variables and click on environment variables and in the user variable section click new and you can uh, enter your variable name as maven underscore home and the variable value as your folder location and in the system variables click path edit path and you can add the same folder path also you have to add a forward slash and bin you need to include the bin folder as well in the system variables okay now you can close the existing command prompt the uh, existing command prompt will give you the same error so you have to open a new command prompt and just type in mbn hyphen version so to show the version of apache maven that we have just installed that is 3.6.3 that means uh, maven is successfully installed in your system 
now uh, whenever you write a piece of code you have to store that code or you have to save that code in some centralized repository right it's not recommended to keep the code always in your local system so only if you uh, save that code into some centralized repository only in that case uh, your team members can access your code right also you can access others others code as well so in that case you may want to work with git git commands right so the next thing is we can install some git version control in our system you can search for git download and it will navigate to the official website and you can choose your uh, operating system and it will start get downloaded and git version control will be downloaded in some time and once it is downloaded you can open the file and you can keep clicking the next button and you can install the git in your system And once you have installed Git, you will be able to see an app called Git Bash. This is something like a command prompt. It, give, it will give you a Git command line user experience. So you can enter all your Git commands in this Git Bash window. So to confirm the Git is successfully installed in our machine, you can type Git space minus minus version. So it will give you the uh, current version of the version of kit that we just installed so I hope you have learned how to install Java GDK 15 Eclipse ID Maven and kit and in the next part we can learn how to write a selenium automation script in java and how to create a github account and how to create a github repository and how we can commit our code to that repository if you have enjoyed watching this video please click the like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel please go ahead and subscribe so we will see with the other next part thanks for watching bye thank you